Hi folks, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Beth's Budget Method where I talk about all things budget and cash stuffing related. I'm a 34 year old soon to be mama living in Hawaii, working my way towards becoming debt free and more financially secure. I hope everyone's having a blessed week. Today we're gonna be doing the second cash stuffing for January as I do get paid bi-weekly. And this paycheck is actually already all gone. So um, I typically have all of my bills, um, big bills paid off in the second paycheck. So rent, utilities, parking, um, some other bills do get paid with this paycheck. And so there really isn't much left. Um, what was left, which was a little over 300, actually went um, towards my credit cards to pay myself back for a lot of the IOUs that I had in my frequent spending binder, which I did go over in my last video. I didn't stick to the budget as I had planned to. I didn't stick to using the cash. And so unfortunately, all of the money had to stay in the bank. But um, that's how it goes. That's life and that's reality. So the cash that I have here that I'll be stuffing into my frequent spending binder is actually from my boyfriend. He's going to be contributing money to our grocery fund as well as our household and toiletries. So we'll just go ahead and stuff that in here today. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. 10, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 170 is getting stuffed into the frequent spending binder. And again, this is my boyfriend's cash that he's contributing to some of the envelopes. We're gonna try it out. Um, as usually, we typically split the bill, but I think um, with me doing most of the grocery shopping and household good shopping, it just makes a little more sense for me to have um, some of this cash so I don't have to keep Venmo requesting him or <laughs> asking him for money. So we're gonna try it out this month and see how it goes. So far it's been okay. So I already put all the money back in the bank um, that needed to go back to my checking account to pay off my credit card. So that's why this is empty. Um, groceries does have a decent amount of money left and my expense trackers or my budget sheets are actually on the side because I'm uh, updating those. So groceries is gonna get 75, 20, 40, 60, 75. And so we'll add that here. And then we'll see how much we have now. We've been eating out a lot, so that's why groceries has a little bit more than typical. So now groceries has 50, 1, 120, 140, 160, 182, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 325, 330, 335, 340, 345, 346, 347, 348. So 348 and um, a little over two weeks left to spend for groceries. So we're going to be really good with this. I anticipate us having money to carry over. Um, into the next month, which is fine because soon to be mama, which means baby's coming soon. And I feel like we're going to be having to stock up on a lot of ready-made meals and groceries in preparation for her uh, coming and us staying home. All right. Dining out has nothing. Gas has some money and let's just see how much gas has. 10, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 28. Household, um, he is contributing $10. So we're just gonna go ahead and put two fives. Oops. Okay, so. Now household has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Toiletries, 
He's also contributing 10, so we're going to do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now Toiletries has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Haven't spent anything from Toiletries yet, which is kind of funny because I created this envelope for the purpose of being able to pull from it and I haven't had to this month. So I guess I just haven't needed anything, but you never know. There's a couple more weeks left of the month and I may run out of some kind of skincare item. Pets Care is not getting anything, but it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Personals all spent. Entertainment or fun has a dollar. Gift says nothing. Shopping is gonna get nothing. Nails is gonna get nothing. Crouches fee is gonna get pending. So I have 20, 40, 60, 75 left. And you know what? I think that's actually supposed to go on groceries. So usually my boyfriend gives me the plan is my boyfriend is going to give me $75 a week to put in here so that we're equally contributing $300 a month, which is $600 a month uh, total for groceries, which we don't anticipate using all of, but um, it's nice for us to just equally contribute. And so I put in 75 already, we're going into the third week, so this is actually for the third week, so my bad, this is supposed to actually get 150. So 20, 40, 60, 75, and so now, groceries has a lot more and I feel like this is good because that means maybe next month when I get paid again I just won't have to put too much money in here and my boyfriend and I will both have had funded this so we'll go ahead and count this and I think I'm going to use my calculator since it's kind of a heftier amount and my memory has just been not great uh, since I've been pregnant. <laughs> 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. So $423. And that's going to be great because we have about two and a half weeks left to utilize the money. And I have a feeling we're not going to spend all of it. So it'll get to roll over into the next month. So that is the cash stuffing. And I'm so grateful that I have um, a partner who can contribute to my cash stuffing um because otherwise i would not have any cash to stuff in here because all of the money did have to stay in the bank so that i could pay off my credit card as there was a lot of overspending that i needed to pay myself back for so i'm very grateful that i was able to cover my overspending with my um you know remaining paycheck after bills were paid um but of course it's not the ideal ideally i would like to be able to spend money from the cash envelopes only, stop using my credit card, which is the way you're supposed to do it with the Ramsey method, and stick with the budget, which is only spending within my means and what I tangibly have in my hands. So I am learning. Um, it's been a rough start to 2024, but I think if I just keep pushing myself to continue the cash stuffing, um, I'll just become more aware and more accountable of myself and hopefully be less inclined to shop. Um, I will admit I do have a shopping problem. So just gotta keep on keeping on and do better for next month. So thanks so much for watching this short cash stuffing video. I hope everyone is doing amazing in 2024 so far. I do post videos every Monday and Thursday, so please be on the lookout for the next one. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.